well, hello everyone. Um, welcome to Inside Jaros. Today we're gonna answer some questions in the forums uh, and some questions that arrive to our fly school pretty often. Um, the first one is the three principles of the gyroplane in the takeoff that uh, sometimes get a little bit tricky. So, what I always uh, explain to everyone is there is three basic concepts that you have to understand when you make the transition to a gyroplane or you start your process as a gyro pilot. The first one is the frisbee, so spinning the rotor as much you can get a saucer, a disc. So this is the frisbee, this is a pre-rotation meaning when you get a minimum that's 200 RPMs to get a frisbee. The second principle is the kite principle. As soon as you have a saucer, you, what you do is pull the kite. Imagine that your disc, your rotor became a disc and it became a, a kite. So you start pulling the kite, pressuring to increase the RPM and to create the lift. As soon as you are in the air, the second principle is the umbrella. You will start flying with an umbrella and behave with the wind action as an umbrella. So you can go up, down, right and left, depend on how your umbrella that you control with your stick. So join us today for a really small video about take your procedure in this particular one. Uh, it's a side-by-side -side that is the best concept for training, for initial training. We always suggest if you want to start your training to do it in a side-by-side -side for many reasons. A part of the safety factors, a part of this easy to understand is the gestures understanding of what is going on. Unfortunately in a tandem if you're an instructor, you are not aware what's going on in front, what's the gestures, what the hands are doing, if you're still having the grip on the, on the brakes or just pulling right, left, you, you, you can feel the controls, but it's very difficult to, you know, recreate in your brain what's going on. And the same thing happened to the, to, to the student. The student first imitate all the gestures and the movements of his structure. So in a side-by-side -side is clear an advantage reducing the time of training because when you jump in the cabin like you are right now and you understand what I'm doing without explaining in words, without listening to the radio, it's way simple to, to just move around and okay, I'm not saying you cannot train in a, in a tandem. Hundreds of people have learn in a tandem, I learn in a tandem, but clearly the best option for uh, any training is the side by side. So welcome again, um, if you want to subscribe right there, uh, there is a click to subscribe for more videos. So before we get into the runway um, and try to you know, listen to the radio frequency and be aware of the traffic around, so this is what we do first. We're going to remove, gonna remove the strap right here. We put it down so the controls will be free. The rotor is free right now. So we check the controls. Full back, full forward, neutral left, right, and circular. So that means the controls are free, there is no problem on the, um, on the control system, the push-pull system that this particular model have. And you can see even in the upper windows how it moves and how it's clear, there is no touching everything. So we keep it in the neutral position, meanwhile we do the takeoff procedure. And we go. First, we get the first clunk, 
that means it's engaged and there start the rotation we check that everything is fine rotor tack is working pressures and temperatures are fine 30 rpms so nice and easy on, on, on the fingers here is very gentle 40 50 all right 80 with 100 rpms we can go full on the clutch we go 10 degrees back on the stick and we keep helping with the engine get our frisbee the 200 rpms is our frisbee 170 180 90 all right 200 the frisbee now we go for a kite we disengage we start pulling and then we have a kite so we lower the nose to keep the balance between those two and then we are in the air. Hey, gyro, is that what's right on? Time for traffic, gyro plane, November 313 on the go. Have traffic crossing the runway. Uh, we will proceed to uh, right downwind, Spanish road. So that's more or less what happens. Now we're flying with an umbrella. We can trim a little bit the aircraft. Right now, because we're not using ballast, so we keep it more or less in this position.